Hey there, I just got back from an 11 day vacation in California. Now this isn't some flex about my, my trip and vacations that I get to do. It's actually a whole different thing, but I wouldn't have had this inside, I guess you could call it, if it hadn't have been for this vacation. So I went to California to visit my sister, visit my parents, and then visit some friends. And it was three different locations, and we interacted with a lot of different people and had a lot of fun. But on the last leg of the trip, I was at my buddy's house, and we do this every year. Every, every year, there's three families to get together, and we go somewhere in California, sometimes to one another's houses. Sometimes we go to, uh, it's not always California, sometimes we go out of state. It just really depends, but we're always getting together with the five families. And there's there's nine kids, six adults, there's 15 of us. It's, it's kind of chaotic at times, but it's a lot of fun. And this time we went and visited my friend's house who lives on the Central Coast. So beautiful area, a lot of fun, but he has a husky. And this husky's a big dog, like 120 pounds. And he's not the black and, and gray or white and gray husky that you think of normally. He's a brown and white husky. So mostly white with a little bit of brown markings. Gorgeous dog. And uh, he's always wanted a husky. My friend's always wanted a husky. So he finally got one. And this, this dog is big dog. 120, 25 pounds. Thick, strong dog. He could probably pull one, pull a sled all, all himself. So super cool dog. But this dog was aggressive, this dog was assertive, this dog was an alpha. Now, what I don't mean when I say aggressive or assertive is that this dog was a dog that would attack or would hurt anyone. And I think often in leadership, we think of aggressive and assertive in that way. And that's not how this dog was. And that's not what I mean when I say aggressive or assertive. So I want to put that in the picture. And that's not even the point of this video. But I notice that and you probably have two with dogs. They're laying on the ground, they're passed out, they're just completely at peace, completely at rest, and then something will startle them or something will wake them up or they'll just wake up because they're done sleeping. And what's the first thing they often do besides lift their head or open their eyes? They stretch, they stretch out their front legs and they stretch out their back legs. Some, some dogs stretch the front legs forward and the back legs back and some dogs stretch only the front legs, some stand up, whatever, they're stretching. And I watched this dog do that and I thought, wait a second, that's such a beautiful metaphor of what we need to do in leadership. We need to wake up at times in our leadership because we get a little bit stagnant in our business and the way we interact with people, the way we do the things that we do. And we need to wake up and then stretch ourselves, stretch ourselves to new levels, to new ways of thinking about doing things and new ways of actually doing things. So in today's Sage Insight, I want to encourage you to think about stretching your leadership, stretching, wake up and stretch the way that you do things. So when you wake up tomorrow morning, I hope this is on your mind. What can you do to stretch the way you can you do your leadership, to stretch the way you do things in your business, whether it's through your marketing, whether it's through customer service with your employees, no matter what angle it is. I want you to wake up tomorrow morning and think about, I need to stretch not only your body, but stretch your mind in the way that you do things. Make it harder. Make it make it challenging and push yourself a little bit. So thanks to that Husky. Thanks for that those trips. You get a message that pushes you to go forward. So I'm Kyle Gillette, owner of Sage Mindset Coaching. Thanks for listening to this episode. And if you're watching on video, thanks for watching. Do comment below on the ways that you found that you can stretch yourself. What are some things you've done that have rewarded you greatly because you've stretched? I'd love to hear your comments and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.